Welcome to Sit Down News. Today we're going to speak about Matty Madonna. While Matty Madonna was in prison in 1950 in Greenhaven Correction Facility, he befriended Nicky Barnes. And for those of you who know Nicky Barnes, he went on to become one of New York's largest drug dealers. When when they were released from prison, they formed a partnership where Maddie would supply him the narcotics. Specifically, Maddie would take the heroin, put it in a car, he would park it on a city block, and he would leave. And Nikki Barnes would come after Maddie left, and he would retrieve the heroin, and this way he could sell it. And this partnership went on up until 1975 when Maddie took a pinch or an arrest for heroin, for conspiracy to uh, import the drug, and also they charged him for distributing it. Um, after a trial, he ultimately received 30 years of federal prison. By the 1980s, Nicky Barnes became, began cooperating with the government against his former associates. And in 2013, he passed away from cancer while in the witness protection program. By 1995, with three decades behind bars, Maddie, Maddie regained his uh, freedom. And in 1988, he became inducted into the Lucchese crime family. And he moved quickly into a capo regime or captain position. And as a result of him being on paper, meaning that he was on parole, Maddie had no men put onto him. In 2007, there was a big Lucchese pinch or sweep, and the feds uh, dubbed it Operation Heat, and Maddie Madonna was part of this uh, arrest. And it was a $2.2 billion gambling operation. There was also racketeering charges and, and charges of money laundering. And if you read the blog, I put the chart up of the Operation Heat put out by the papers. And about 2009, around that time, the Lucchese's had a four-man panel that they, that they was running the, the family. And when they disbanded that panel, Maddie took over as the acting boss of the family for Vicar Musso, who, who is in prison doing life, who is the boss of the family. And his underboss was Stevie Crea, and his consigliere was Joe DiNapoli. So in two, sometime in 2013, I first met Maddie Madonna outside of the Bronx Social Club that we had on Coddington Avenue. And I had gone there with Big John and we got out of the car and we were going to walk into the club and who was walking towards us was Maddie Madonna. And I guess John had already spoken to him about me. And he said to me, he said, so I heard you did 17 years. He said, I hope you didn't take your shoes off. And what he was referencing was that it was like a joke in prison. If you were doing under five years or, or a short amount of time, they would call it a skid bid. They would say, don't even bother taking your shoes off. You're going to be leaving soon. So I said to him, I said, no, Maddie, not only did I take them off, I made myself comfortable. He was, la he, he started laughing. He says, come here, give me a kiss. And he was hugging me and kidding around with me. Maddie was a very likable guy. He was a man's man. He liked to kid around with the guys. He was always laughing. He was, he was very loud when he spoke, but Maddie was a good guy. And in 2015, Maddie pleaded guilty in the Operation Heat uh, uh, case, and he took a five-year sentence that he served in a Jersey State prison. But unfortunately, his troubles were not over because in, on May 31st, 2017, over two dozen uh, Lucchese members and associates were picked up uh, on a federal racketeering case. And among those charges was the 2013 murder of Michael Melnish. And I spoke about Michael Melnish previously. For those of you who know Michael Melnish, Michael Melnish was uh, the former uh, leader of the Purple Gang out of Harlem. And supposedly, Maddie became very upset with Michael Melnish over several issues resulting in Michael's murder. 
And that trial began in October of 2019. And there was a lot of media coverage there. And as I stated in the blog, the, the defendants had very good lawyers. They tried to obviously put on a good case and get their uh, clients acquitted. The jury had come back after six weeks and, um, and convicted everybody. And I think in July of 2020, Maddie received a life, a life sentence in federal prison. One of the charges was he was convicted of the Michael Melnish murder. And, um, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. Maddie, if you know about his history, has done most of his life in prison. And um, I had a, a, a friend that I was away with, uh, Bobby Sorensen. And Maddie and Bobby were close in prison. As a matter of fact, Maddie is a very, very good jailhouse lawyer or very good with the law. And he had told me that he gave Bobby uh, advice. And if, if, if Bobby would have uh, followed Maddie's advice, he wouldn't have did all that time he did, but Bobby has passed on since. I, I may do something on, on, on uh, Bobby. And that's, that's, that's it with uh, Maddie. Um, I like to bring up our sponsor, uh, Ratchet Clothing out of the UK. We'll, I'll put a link down below for them. If you have not subscribed to Sit Down News here, you could do that below. If you have not read the blog, go to sitdownnews.com. And that's really about it. I hope that everyone enjoyed the blog. If you haven't read it, I tried to just give a little more background on, on Maddie. And uh, as, I, as I said, Maddie is very well liked. I never heard really a bad word set, said about Maddie. Um, a lot of people respected Maddie and he was a man's man. And um, I, I recently heard something about him passing, but I don't think it's true. I, I, I know he's up there in age. I think Maddie's got to be in his 80s by now. So that's about it. Uh, I hope everybody's enjoying their day. I enjoyed mine. I went for a run, trying to stay in shape. And that's it. Till the next time. Ciao.